Well, cheers to Stu for that one again. I'm back now with the Brown Advisory Stable Plate Handicap Chase, which is the Grade 3 handicap version of the Ryanair, really. The horses that not quite up to the Grade 1 standard. And not quite got a big, as big a field as you'd imagine for this. You'd expect a bigger field in this and a smaller field in the Ryanair, but one or two people happy to tilt at windmills this season. And at the top, we've got Lake San Quar for Darren Thompson, Ozark, Clear Vinnie, Gerard Angel, or Demon, Joshua Sutherland, Psychopath for... Graham Clutterbuck, Gold Coast for Craig Beck with Attracted Branch for James Shea, Monumental Madness, Paul Rhodes, Slaney Upon, Thomas Rogers, San Vino, Stu Gray, Caulfield, Alex Cherry, and Victorian Elfel for Thomas Rogers. So just 11 in this then. And an opportunity for somebody to pick up a grade three at the Cheltenham Festival, and away they go. And Lake Saint Croix, just about the first one to shoot. With Victorian Elfer and Ozark clear, then Gold Coast. It's towards the back, Slaney upon. Was the early back marker, but Lake Saint Croix wants to go a little bit quicker than the jockey wants it to as they get to the first, which they were all pretty tidy over. They've got 16 more to take, and the pace is somewhat pedestrian as Lake Saint Croix leads by three quarters of a length into the second. And over that one they all go. With Ozark clear on the outside of the leader and Gold Coast on the inside they're making a little arrow formation and with Angel or Demon now joining into it in fourth as they take this one on the downhill and there's a four on there it's Angel or Demon that's gone so one of the big guns in the grade three handicap crashes out one of the top baits is gone and Lake San Croix and Ozark clear well the one and two in the weights well first and second in the race at the moment then attracted branch and Gold Coast the bottom weight Victorian Elfel is after that. They've still got just over two miles to go. And Lake Saint Croix is in the lead by about two lengths. We're into this next one. And over it they all go. With Attracted Branch in second. Gold Coast in third. And then Ozark Clear fourth. They get over the next Ozark Clear was a little bit slower written mistake at the back was by Psychopath. As they make their way up the straight then now. In view of the stand. And Lake Saint Croix has opened up by about three. To Attracted Branch in second. And over that one they got Attracted Branch really took a dive at that one but got away with it. And I don't want to make too many more mistakes like that as they race down to the fence. It'll be the last next time round. And this time the mistake was by Gold Coast. Jump it at all well as they now swing left handed and they'll go out for their final circuit. And Lake San Quire is the leader by four to Ozark Clear is second. Monumental Madness has gone into third. Then Attractive Branch is four and Victorian Elfel is five. Gold Coast has dropped back to six and then San Vino seven and Caulfield eight. Psychopath nine and finally Slaney Upon is the back marker. Just the one DPRT so far. And Lake San Quire skips over that one with a good lead. Bit of a mistake at the back by Caulfield. But Lake St. Quarry is clear in front from Ozark. Clear in second. They get to the water. All safely over the water jump. The leader, the top weight, holding along nicely in the lead. Makes that ditch well. All over the ditch nicely. And a concern for this. Lake San Quire at the moment would probably be the weight. He's going well enough in front. He gets over that plain one really well. Another mistake by Caulfield at the back. Lake San Quire in front from Ozark Clear is four lengths down in second. Then Attracted Branch and Victorian Elf all together. San Vino trying to get up the inside. Monumental Madness is going to switch around the outside. Gap back to Gold Coast and Caulfield as they take the 12th. Another big ditch. And Lake San Quire's lead is down to two. On Attracted Branch and Ozark Clear. Then Victorian Elfer and San Vino as they get over the 13th. And they'll start to swing left handed now. They've got just four more fences to take. And Lake San Quire is in front. From Attracted Branch in second. Victorian Elfer in third. And those are clear four. Gold Coast is now getting back into it after that earlier mistake. Still wide open this one, but they've got to get past this leader. The top weight Lake San Quire. We've got just three to jump in now. Lake Saint Croix in the lead from Attracted Branch in second. 
Then comes Victorian Elf from Gold Coast around the outside, gets over the third lap. Another mistake by Caulfield. Surely has put him out of it now. The mistakes that that one's been making, but it's Lake San Quar in the lead. They've got just two more fences to take, and Lake San Quar on the top weight kicks on again. Still two clear of Gold Coast in second. Ozark clear is third. Sam Vino is four. Then attracted branches five. Surely between these, Caulfield's trying to run on again, but it's Lake San Quar who's clear. Lake San Quar clear with two to jump from in second place. Gold Coast over the second last and Gold Coast jumps it quicker Lake San Quar is beginning to tire under the big weight Gold Coast is trying to read him in it's surely between these two at the final fence Lake San Quar lands in the lead Gold Coast is beginning to get up on the near side and Gold Coast powers into the lead and Gold Coast now goes away and is this going to be yet another winner for Craig Beckwith it's Gold Coast powering up the hill and Gold Coast takes it jockey has a sneaky little look round running on for second it's probably going to be San Reno Ozark clear Lake San Quar couldn't carry it away Victoria and helpful after that one and all the way back to monumental madness and I don't know what Craig Beckwith is doing but whatever it is he's doing it right and he's in winners all over the place these last few weeks and that is another big one as Gold Coast takes the Brown Advisory Stable Plate Handicap Chase by a good three and a half length, so Gold Coast the winner for Craig Beck with San Vino, Stu Gray second again, he's knocking on the door Stu, and Ozark Claire third for Vinnie Gerard Lake, San Quar for Darren Thompson fourth, Victorian Elfel for Thomas Rogers was fifth.